Donald Trump is questioning Joe Biden's fitness for office, but by every visible measure, Biden appears more alert and far more active than Trump ever was. On Saturday, Fox News captured Biden biking at a state park in Rehoboth Beach, Delaware. He even answered a shouted question from his bike. Compare that with Trump, who can't even handle a short walk down a simple ramp, and it's a pretty stark contrast. I'm joined now by Jason Johnson, journalism and politics professor at Morgan State University, and Howard Feynman, MSNBC, I mean, NBC News analyst. Thank you both for being here, Jason. You're, you, you teach um, at a college. You teach the young people. Um, in your mind, which of the two of them, uh, Donald Trump or Joe Biden, seems to have more acuity, more mental acuity? Well, you know, my pretest for all my students this fall, Joy, will be person, woman, man, camera, TV. Uh, and if they can do that, I know they're at least as smart as the president. Um, <laughs> look, look, here's the thing. Joe, Joe Biden demonstrated that he literally can ride a bike and do something else at the same time. Like, I've always thought the argument that Joe Biden has lost a step or has some sort of mental deficiency it was just a complete lie. It makes absolutely no sense. It's Republicans just projecting. But what's important to remember is that no matter how much they spout this nonsense, every single time Donald Trump opens his mouth, he looks worse. There's nothing Joe Biden can say that is more foolish or incoherent than Donald Trump in the middle of a substantive interview. You know, and, and Howard, it, it, it's weird because every time that Donald Trump or his son or his friends try to do this attack, it just calls more attention to the times when he slurs his words, to the weird, like, bruise thing that was on his hand, and people started, well, what is that, to the way he was dragging his foot when he was walking. Like, he keeps calling attention to what he thinks are bad things about Joe Biden, but those things seem to just call more attention to him. Well, let me talk briefly about Joe Biden. I was teaching uh, for the last few years at the University of Pennsylvania, which Joe has a relationship with, and I was teaching a journalism seminar, and I invited him into my class of about 25 students. And he just blew the doors off the thing. And these kids uh, responded to him and to his force of intellect and passion in a way that surprised me. And he said at the end to them, as he was on his way out the door, he said, look, you 25 kids, you're at an Ivy League school, but don't think you can isolate yourself from the changes in America and your responsibility to deal with them. You can't build a wall high enough. You can't make enough money. You can't do anything to avoid your responsibility uh, to embrace America. And I think by picking Kamala Harris, he showed that. Uh, she's dynamite. She's going to be the defining story of this campaign. And Joe, by uh, inference, will be the second defining story because he's the guy who played in the band with, uh, with Barack Obama. And he's the guy who then turned around and picked a woman of color to be his helpmate. Uh, it's a it's a it's a story of America today. It's a story of America of the future. And if you think the suburban women of America are going to reject that, I think you're totally wrong. We go through periods yeah. of division yeah. and unity. We're headed into a period of unity that I think Joe and Kamala have a chance to achieve. Well, and you know, Jason, just from a historic standpoint. There's a certain LBJ JFK feeling about the ticket, right? Where you did have, you know, Lyndon Johnson to right. balance out JFK, who represented this like, new generation. And that's kind of how this feels, right? It does feel like, you know, Biden has given himself a, an LBJ moment here. Yeah, I mean, they, they, they balance each other out. They make a lot of sense one way or another. For once, we don't have this sort of Batman and Robin situation. This is more like Storm and Dora Milaje. I mean, these are two functional people <laughs> who could both actually be president. And that's something we can actually be excited about as opposed to somebody who's a junior partner. Yeah, indeed. Well Jason Johnson, Howard Feynman, thank you both, my friends. Appreciate it. That is tonight's readout. Uh, and All In with Chris Hayes starts right now. Tonight on All In, it's Joe